uh, let me now create a second uh, a second page here so, and then just say new and uh, my document will be a blank document and I just start with nothing say create so let's say the second page is about my my teaching And uh, I showed you last week how to include an image uh, by using the uh, URL of the image. But now I'm going to show you a different way of including an image. Let's say instead of using like a, a remote image, now I want to use a local image, local image from your directory, from your public uh, HTML directory. And, I, I, and uh, I happen to have one or several files here. And I just click image. And then I, um, the, from the image location, last week what I did is to copy the URL but now instead of copying the URL, I'm going to open my folder. So that the that's the icon. And it will, for you, if you work on your N drive, it has to be from your N public HTML uh, directory folder, right? But, but, but I'm not working on my uh, H, um, N drive here. So let's say I want to include the image of Grand Valley logo into my web page. Okay, so just click it like name and the name is there and you have to pick either to uh, place like the, the tooltip of the image or an alternate uh, text so let's say I'm going to uh, include a tooltip here so then you will select the other radio button don't use alternate text but instead I'm going to use my tooltip and just say okay and the image is there okay so I've been teaching at GVSU since 2002. Okay, you can add some more information in here, but the point of my my presentation today is to show you how to link the two pages together. So now I have to save this page as another HTML file. So that's what I'm going to do. Just click save. And when you're prompted for a file name, just type in the first part. Don't type the HTML uh, extension. Okay. Uh, let's, let's say my second page is Hans Teaching, right? Because you have to name the page uh, uh, something to do with the title or the content of, of that page. I d and I don't put dot .html there. And then click OK. And automatically, you can see that uh, I see, um, Composer will add the uh, extension Hans Teaching HTML. Okay, I'm I'm going to save it. So now I'm going to make a link between the two together. Um, I'm going to add uh, one sentence here back to my main page. Okay, now when when the visitor of your website click on main page. You want him or her to go back to your first page. So then what I can do is just highlight the word, if I can. Highlight my page. And what should I do from here? Which button should I press? Link. Because you want to make a link, right? You want to make a link to the other page. Okay. Now, uh, a new uh, dialog will pop up. Then you, what you need to do is the link location. Okay, so the link location, if you o uh, uh, press that button, you will see nothing. Why? Because what you want to do is to link to another page, which is another file. So then you have to open your folder, and then you have to <coughs> click the name of the uh, second file. Okay, and click open, and then you're done. Okay, say okay, and now that link will be linked to uh, the first page. Now, what if I want to create a link from an image instead of like from a text? So the pr the, uh, the steps will be the same. I just highlight my image. Okay, uh, you can click that link again, or you can right click here. Either wa uh, either way will work. And click link again. Now, um, 
this time I'm going to make this image as an external link. So then you need to type in your uh, URL. HTTP double slash dot 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 gpsu dot edu, right? Okay. So now I have like an uh, external link through an image, and uh, I have a link from my second page to my first page. But let's say I want to make a link from my first page to the second page, and the step will be the same. Let me highlight the word college here, and I want to make that a link. Uh, what I did is I right uh, click on my mouse, and I can select create link, and then the same procedure. You know the file name, the second file, the HTML file, and then open, and then click OK question so far. So now you know how to link the, the two pages together. Uh, linking uh, three or four pages basically will be the same steps. Okay. Now, how do you create an, like, an internal link within the same page? So what I just showed you, like two internal links from page one to page two and from page two to page one. Okay. Now if you will need to create like an internal link, what you need to create is uh, an anchor. An anchor from, for each target that you want to link to. So let's say for each uh, major heading here, I'm going to make a link uh, that I can use later for my menu. So I, what I need to create is an anchor. So um, I just put my mouse at the beginning of my uh, heading about me. And you can say anchor to create an anchor. Just type, and then you have to type in a name. Okay. Uh, th the name is just a text um, that will identify the heading. Mm, typically, I use like this uh, part of the text as my anchor name. It doesn't have to be the same text as the title, as the heading. I can just type in anything here. So now you can see the anchor icon will show up, and I will do the same for the second link. For the third link, and so now you know how to make anchors. Now. Let's say I'm going to use, uh, remember uh, the reason why I use the uh, two by two table layout is that I can put logo in here and I can put um, my main content. But let's say I'm, I'm going to put the right column as my navigation links. Uh, you know what I mean by navigation links, right? So like, for instance, if you look at a GVSU website, Yeah, this will be an example of navigation, but they do it like on top. I want to put my navigation like on my right side of the screen. Okay, so let me go back to Composer. Now I'm going to make like internal links for each heading that I have in here. Okay, and in order to do that, what I need to do is to create a link. But of course, you, need, you have to say a text because I I didn't highlight any text on my uh, page. Then you're prompted to enter a text. And what is the link location? For the link location, what you want to do is just click the uh, the uh, arrow down arrow button. Now, automatically, while well, good thing is Composer uh, smart enough to know that I have created those links before. Then th remember, these are the names that I use in my anchors, right? So if you want to click to the first heading, that will be about myself, and it will show up there. And you can do the same thing for the second one link again uh, and I want to link to my birthplace but it will be a mistake because Composer did not prompt me with the new text because my cursor is too close to the first link here so then Composer will think that I'm trying to make another link from there or I'm trying to update that link okay so in that case what I want to do is to cancel and then my, I want to move my cursor away from my first uh, link. <coughs> now let me try again. Create link. Yes. 
So now this time I'm I'm prompted for the text, right? Second anchor is birthplace. And then okay. So now you know how to create like an internal link uh, from within the same page. Okay, now let me show you how to uh, change the background color of your page. So under format, under format and uh, page colors and background. There we go. Okay. Um, if you want to change the background color, then use custom colors and then instead of uh, white, just click background and then you can pick any color that you like. Uh, let me pick grayish color. And then click OK. Yep, so now you change the background. Okay. So now how do you make a link to your email address? So the only difference in um, creating an, a link to your email address is the URL type. So with, with uh, linking to another web page, what you need to do is HTTP colon double slash, right? For email, the, H, the URL will be mail to colon and then your email address, okay? So let's say I will, if I want to say contact me by email, and then I want to make me by email as a link, but the link is now an email address. The URL will be mail to colon my CIS, let's say. Okay. So I, th I think I show everything that you need to know in Composer, the basic uh, skills that you need to use uh, Composer to complete the project.